Hello people, Snow Crash here from Snow Crash Constructions. I've got a short video here today that may be of some help to you. No, it's not about interdimensional travel in the nether, that probably wouldn't interest you in the least. It's about really exciting stuff called Java. I was watching episode 55 of Mumbo's Hermitcraft series and in it he was experiencing a range of Minecraft game freezes and it was appearing to be frustrating him quite a lot. He asked for a solution and I think I might have one. Incidentally you'll find a link to Mumbo's channel down below. Just a very quick piece of background as to why the Minecraft freezes may be occurring. One theory that's been proposed is that it's to do with the JVM garbage collection. Uh, that's a memory management system within Java. Uh, this occurs from time to time to free up memory to allow the JVM to continue to operate and obviously allow your game to continue to work. The problem is that when it occurs it is very CPU intensive and pretty much is going to lead to a freeze in the game. After a while it completes its task and everything goes back to normal. It is a warning sign though that eventually your game will probably crash. Anyway, that's a little background, now on to fixing the problem. As you may or may not know, Minecraft uses the Java language and Java Virtual Machine for its game engine. One of the first areas you want to check is that your Minecraft is operating on the 64-bit Java Virtual Machine. It's quite easy to do, and having said that, Minecraft will operate in 32-bit JVM or 64-bit JVM, but almost all modern operating systems are 64-bit, and the 64-bit Java Virtual Machine is more efficient, especially when running Minecraft. And for this exercise, we won't even be going into the game. How exciting is that? Not very, but anyway, when you start Minecraft, you usually start the Minecraft launcher. You'll see a picture of it on the screen there, and when it comes up, it comes up with a lot of technical gobbledygook. And then you hit play. But before you do that, go to the development console tab, which you can see there, and look at the line that I've highlighted. If it says 64, you're all good, you can go to the next step. If it says 32, well, we can try to fix that. For this exercise, I'm only going to be focusing on Windows 7. I'm sure it's similar on Mac. Linux is another story altogether, but if you're running Linux Minecraft, I'm sure you've got a good head on your shoulders to deal with this problem. And as for Windows 8, I've got no idea. It's an abomination, that operating system, and let's not even speak of it again. Uh, the preferred way that I'd suggest to move to 64-bit if you're only operating in 32 is simply to remove the 32-bit Java. may have some side effects, but if there is, well, you can always put it back on. It's not hard. You'll find it under Programs and Features in your Control Panel. Find Java. The example shown on the screen is actually the correct version. If you're running in 32-bit, you'll probably have something a little different on the screen. You can remove it, download the 64-bit, put it on, and away you go. To do that, you need to go to the link as shown, java.com. I won't read out the whole thing. And they have a particular area where it shows all their downloads. The Windows offline 64-bit is probably the best bet. It's not going to do any automatic shenanigans on your computer. You're just going to download it, install it, and away you go. It'll be done, installed, and then we can move to the next step. All right, now that you have 64-bit Java installed on your computer, we can move to step two. And this is about increasing the amount of memory that Minecraft can use. Now, I should put a caveat in here. If you have four gigabytes of RAM or less on a Windows machine, typically, I probably wouldn't do this, or I'd go and do a little bit more research and tweak the option a little. 
but most people have about 8, 8 gigabytes or more this won't be a problem. It's quite straightforward to do. Once again we're back at our Minecraft launcher and you'll see a profile uh, selection list down the bottom left. Uh, choose the one that you normally use, you'll probably only have one there anyway, and click Edit Profile. Once you're in the Edit Profile dialog, you'll see down the bottom that there is an option called JVM Arguments. Now, almost all the time that is unticked. You can tick that. Put the option in that's shown on the screen. Now, often that will already be there. Once you've done that, you can click Save Profile. In case you can't read it, it's dash capital X MX the numeral 1 and a capital G. So that's not an L, that's the numeral 1. And completely close down the launcher. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. Start Minecraft, get back into the game, start smashing some blocks and you're back in happy land. Maybe leave a few comments, let me know how it goes. It's not going to completely eliminate the freezes but it'll certainly extend the time before they happen. And I'm talking about you'd have to be playing for six or seven hours or doing extensive flying around with a lot of chunks loading uh, before you start to get freezes. Certainly better than the default settings. Anyway, let me know how you go. And without further ado, I'd like to say goodbye. This is Snow Crash. See you later.